<sighs> okay, so maybe we are live right now. I've been kind of messing around with stupid software for the last two hours trying to see if I could get things to work where I could simultaneously stream to Facebook and stream to YouTube, and I'm willing to pay. And apparently, I just can't get that to happen. I think Facebook is kind of restricting that, so they don't want things uh, to be streaming on Facebook at the same time as they're streaming on YouTube. So uh, anyway, the reason why that's important, the reason why it even matters is because I want to tell you guys, I told this I told this to Facebook, <laughs> some of the users on uh, viewers on Facebook, but I'm going to do a live drawing that, you know, that Husky that we're giving away and the, and the 2003 Honda CR250R project bike, those bikes are going to be given away and I'm going to do that live. I'm going to do a drawing live. It's one of the things that some people complained about in the last few times that we've done it. And I thought, you know what? I've got 10 winners. Um, because we're going to have, someone's going to win the Honda, someone's going to win the Husky, and then there's a bunch of other prizes like tubeless. There's two sets from tubeless. I'm just going to read off my prize list here. We'll have two sets of tubeless. We've got an AXP racing uh, skid plate. We've got electron carburetor. Uh, we got a Flow Motorsports foot peg and their radiator guards going to two different winners. Uh, we've got Tusk wheel truing stand. We've got a Tusk spoke torque wrench, and uh, and that kind of rounds it out. So uh, make sure you tell me where you're coming from in the comments. I see some people are coming on here. We've got Spike and we've got the talk show of reality, <laughs> Northeast Angler, Moto Man, a few people in there. We even got John, is it John Kelsey from Sudbury, Canada? I know where Sudbury is. Um, yeah, so a couple people on here. Um, one guy even says he loved the step ramp. I did a review kind of uh, promo on the step ramp yesterday on the channel. So at least, well, I did it last week and then it came out, um, yesterday on Sunday. So anyway, thanks for joining there. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what the plan is in, you've got two more weeks to enter the sweepstakes for the Husky and the Honda. Um, it goes until April 30th. And for those of you that don't know, every $5 that you spend on dirtbikechannel.com, it has to be on my website. Every $5 you spend over there gets you entered into that sweepstakes to become one of these 10 lucky winners, okay? So if you buy like a sticker pack, that's there's a sticker pack for five bucks, that gets you an entry into the sweepstakes. Uh, if you buy a shirt, it's, uh, well, these aren't the shirts, but I do have some shirts over there. Shirts are 25 bucks, so that'd be five entries, right? So uh, let me know if you guys can hear me okay. I think you probably can. We've got a bunch of people on, Daniel from Phoenix and... Um, Caden from Utah and Derek from West Virginia, Pete from Wyoming. There's too many people. Uh, Nick, Nick Atkinson. I'm just kind of going through a bunch of people. We got everywhere from Italy to uh, lots of other places. So some guys are saying good on the audio, loud and clear. Uh, Noah DeRoss is coming from Australia. Oh, I guess I guess I was going to say it's late for you, but I think you're just waking up now. It's 4:15 local time, 4:15 p.m. local time here near Salt Lake City in Utah, where I'm at. Um, so. The way that the whole sweepstakes, will, as, as it wraps up, and I think this will be pretty fun, what we'll do is we will, um, when, once I have all the data after April 30th, so May 1st, I don't know, what, what day is this? I've got to pull up the calendar. I've, I've been living life day to day, like seriously. So if I look at this, okay, so May, okay, so April 30th is a Tuesday. So May 1st is a Wednesday. I'm going to send, have all the data delivered to my accountant on that May 1st or May 2nd and push him hard to get me 10 finalists. Those 10, 10 finalists are all going to win something. Once I have those names, I will have their names um, and we'll put them on a sheet of paper and I'm going to put them in a box or a hat or a bowl or something. And then, and I will read them off to you. I'll be like, look, here's John Smith from blah, blah, blah. Uh, he's one of the finalists and here's uh, Darius and here's Susie and whatever. And so you'll see all 10 names go in to the, uh, into the box. And then we'll be like, okay, we're going to draw for this prize. We're going to draw for that prize. We're going to draw for that prize. And once it gets down, uh, there's the grand prize, which, um, the grand prize winner gets to pick what they want. I keep I keep thinking that the grand prize winner will probably want the 2019 Husky TE 300i, but I don't know that. It's totally possible that the grand prize winner might want the Honda. So if you are the grand prize winner, you get to pick which bike you want, um, and then the runner-up person just gets uh, whichever bike is left over. Um, but as far as like the tubeless sets, I'm just going to draw them like, okay, we're drawn for the first tubeless set, we'll pull out a name. We'll draw for the second tubeless set. We'll pull out a name. 
here's here's for the electron here's for the foot pegs here's for the radiator guards here's for the you know on and on and on so that's how the drone that's how i'm planning to do this and i wanted to have uh set up some software where i can stream live to facebook and youtube at the same time and i've literally spent the last two and a half hours trying to make that or maybe even longer trying to make that happen and i can't get it to work um frustrating actually technically i did get it to work with one program but i couldn't i can't see any of the comments and i was like uh so i i don't know that i'm going to i don't know that i'm going to make that happen so so maybe what i'll do is just open up i've got i've got a couple different computers and so maybe i'll open up this computer and have it streaming um on YouTube and then open up my laptop and have it streaming to Facebook. That's one way that I can do it. It's kind of like a ghetto way to do it. Um, but I, I just can't figure out how to get it done any other way. So, uh, we got one guy on here, uh, says, put the names in a writing boot box. I don't think I have any writing boot boxes. I think I've got, I think I've thrown all those away. So I guess or recycled, right? That's what, that's what I'm supposed to say. Um, so, Let's see if anybody else has any really good questions in here. Um, yes, I have more people that are asking about uh, maybe a little bit about is it can we do any international? Unfortunately, I can't do any international stuff. Just can't do it. So put it in a helmet. Yeah, so I could definitely do that. So anyway, that is the deal. Um, I guess probably what I'll do as we get a little bit closer here, maybe I'll shoot for like May 4th or something. My son's birthday is on May 5th, but maybe we'll shoot to have this whole thing wrapped up. And I mean, I'm going to figure that out, but maybe we could shoot for May 4th. May the 4th be with you or something like that. Right. So that would give, that would give us one, two, three, four days to come up with those 10 finalists. And then we do the video live on that Saturday. That might be the way to do this. I'm going to have to check with my wife and check with my accountant and see if that might work. Um, so yeah, that's how we're going to handle this. It's going to be super fun. There's going to be 10 different winners and those winners are going to be drawn live. And then after, after that live drawing, then I'm going to call the grand prize winner and say, Hey, which bike do you want? Which which bike are you taking? And then they have to sign a winner's affidavit, uh, just saying that they're not going to sue me and that they're going to, you know, they assume they assume all the reliability that, or the the liability that this bike is dangerous and you could get hurt and you know, just kind of just kind of uh, alleviate me from any of the legal uh, things that could come up with winning a prize like that. So once they have actually won the prize, or once they have signed that for me, uh, then we can figure out, you know, if how how to get the bike to them. So anyway, that is how we will be doing this. There will be more information coming on it. Um, but again, if you haven't gone over to dirtbikechannel.com and entered to win that bike, those two bikes and the other eight prizes, I don't know what you're waiting for. Um, there's not that many people to enter these things. I've got, yeah, 140,000 subscribers on YouTube, but just like this video, there's not that many of you on here. And unfortunately all the international people can't win the bike because I can't award the prize outside of the U S um, that like literally it almost, it almost killed Rocky. Well, I shouldn't say that. What I will say is, uh, in 2018, Rocky Mountain ATV tried to award a dirt bike as a prize on their fantasy supercross SX thing. Um, there's my wife and we're live here. Hi, hey, hi, Karen. Sorry. So this is this is what happens when you're when you're live and you don't tell your wife. She's going. She's she's uh she got caught there. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so Rocky Mountain ATV put out or they they awarded they had a winner for their Supercross thing, um, and it it was a guy in Canada, and they could not get the bike across the border. It couldn't happen. Um, it took months and months and months. And I know this because I know the guy personally, he reached out to me and we've, we've interfaced a few times. They could not get the bike across the border. And so they had like $10,000 worth of parts on this bike. They had to strip all the parts off the bike and then go over to Canada, buy a dirt bike in Canada. The, it was a KX 450, uh, not a K, a KTM, uh, 450 SX is what it was. Buy a bike in Canada and then put all the parts back on that bike. 
I won't tell you what happened uh, after the guy was awarded the bike, but let's just suffice it to say that it was a nightmare and I can't be involved with that. It would totally sink my enterprise. So unfortunately, because of government rest restrictions being what they are, um, I can only award this to someone inside the United States. But if you do live in Canada or Mexico or somewhere close by and you know someone in the U.S., um, that person could enter for you and I would just officially give the bike to that person. And then if they turn around and sell it to you for a dollar, I can't stop them. So just, just know that I have to give the bike to someone here in the U S so that's how, that's how that deal works anyway. Um, yeah, Scotty said, dude, she's a babe. She is, uh, she is really, she's a beautiful woman. So I'm very blessed to have my wife anyways. That's pretty much it. I'm going to let you guys go. And just make sure that to, before the end of the month, you get entered to win uh, that bike by going over to dirtbikechannel.com and entering. There's also a mail-in entry. No purchase is necessary. You can mail in postcards if you want to, uh, but that would be no fun. Because um, if everyone only just mailed in postcards, I, I, you know, the bikes would cost me out of my pocket. And it's unbelievable the amount of work and the amount of cost that it takes to get these, these uh, dirt bike giveaways going and keep them going. So anyway, thank you so much for supporting it. And um, that's it. I guess we will uh, talk to you guys soon. And I'll come up with the actual day when we're going to do the live drawing, maybe shooting for May 4th. That looks like a good day on the calendar. So take care, guys.